Yeah, okay, Miss. So, what's your name? Uh, my name is Nikkei Vermont. Okay, Miss. And I'm Brianna White. All right. Mm -hmm. So, Brianna, what's the idea that you had for the 4 H Club? Um, well, my original idea was um, actually to have a rain catchment system whereby we would use um, plastic bottles and put them together so that it could go around the school so like when the rain fell, mm -hmm. would collect it and then it would go around and lead to a central point where you'd have like a big, a big tank. tank. So okay, it all right. stores the water, water. and right. we're also recycling by using the plastic bottles. Very good, very good. Okay, so why do you think uh, capturing rain is important? Uh, well, um, it's a natural resource, so mm -hmm. why not make use of it, right? Okay, all yeah. right, all right. You can use a lot of that water for maybe the farm? Yes, yes. for the farm and um, being that our school is located in a rural area, we don't have a lot of water, so sometimes if we run out of water, we can have that too. Okay, and water, municipal water is very expensive, isn't it? Very. Okay, all right. Um, and what happens to the water? Like, does, it, does there any erosion do that happen down here? Uh, erosion? Does it yeah. happen? Yeah. Yeah, it does. When the rain falls, um, actually, it goes inside of the quadrangle in our school, yeah. and then it comes out through that pipe there. All right. So it erodes right um, at that spot, yeah. Yeah. and the stones and the rocks go they, down they, there. They, 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 right. they, so it affects our away. infrastructure a lot. Okay. Yeah. Um, right. As you notice, the cracks everywhere. I did. I yeah. did, yeah. But um, the rain, getting that rain catchment system actually would help a lot. It would help for our bathrooms, our farm, yeah. uh, so many things that yeah. we, we need to use on a daily basis. So you could take a problem that, you know, rain that makes erosion, you could turn into a resource. You yeah. Know? yeah. All right. That's Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. Right. Bye. Okay. Okay, Miss, what's your name? Lavon. Okay. And can you explain to me what happens here when it rains really hard? Alright, so when it rains really hard, in the middle of the quadrangle there, it's flooding. Yeah. Um, a lot of water and it comes out through the pipe there. So when it comes out through okay. the pipe, that pipe right there, yeah. it goes and wash and pull the area. So if you have one shoes like these, you're going to get wet. And here, yeah. Full, full, really bad. Like the school and some of the classrooms overflow. So. Oh, okay, okay, interrupt. okay. Does so? What happens to the water? Does the water go downhill? Sometimes it settles. Okay, and there's what's downhill there? Also. Right over here. Yeah, is that a play field? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Does the play field ever get wet? Because it's clay. Okay. Does it ever puddle? Oh, I see. Okay. So, what do you think we should do here? We, how do you, how do you think we can? Um, prevent this from happening? So, um, fix up in the middle of there and put in a good drainage system. Good drainage system. Yes. Okay, well thank you so very much. You're welcome. Uh, here, keep flooding. So when the rain falls, it um, fills the quadrangle and come on top of here okay. and into that classroom over there. So it's like affecting the Okay, I see, I see. So, um, so what's going on over here? Was this roof always here? No, um, they collected money from us to build an auditorium, but it's like it's not furnished good. So okay. So the water that comes off these roofs go into these pipes, pipes here? Yes, and leak and out and wet up the whole quadrangle. Alright, so even when it rains, this is not completely dry? No. Oh, I thought it was. No, it's not. Uh, so you have some flooding problem inside as well? Yes. Okay. Inside this area and outside too. And outside too? Yeah. Alright, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, so I am here with Clement Goldson. Um, so sir, how are you connected with the school? I'm a member of the Catholic Schools Ministry. Okay. Mm -hmm come to the school and interact with students from time to time. Excellent, excellent. So what are going on over here, so? <laughs> this school, the ground here yes. is eroding. All right. If you look here, you see some drain pipes coming out here. Mm -hmm. And when it rains, mm -hmm. the water from the 
area comes here and flows down you can see the trench that's okay. been cut so is this the part of the erosion right here right here you're seeing it all right and i'm here to tell you you can see this road i used to be able to drive and park my Is that right? Yes. So all this was paved? All this was paved. Mm. And this has been eroded. And it comes and from the water that comes from here? From these and um, the one further up. Okay. As, uh, and also from the roof above. So you and from the roof. And you notice the roof is not gutted. Right. So you have not just the water coming from the pipe, but the, ro the rain coming from the roof. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yes. One foot drop. Now, how long ago was it when you had a pavement? I would say five or six years. Five or six years, okay. And the concern now is we have worn through the hard stuff mm -hmm. and we're into what you could call the softer. When you oh. see this, it's speeding up. Yes. It is getting Do you think the, the building at all? Quicker. Do you think the building at all is at, in jeopardy? The foundation? I believe it, it is because. End, this end of the building, going down into the clay field and down here, yeah. is wearing away. And as yeah. that continues and it undermines the foundation, it will start to crack. Okay. The, the building will start to crack. Oh, okay, thank you. That's, so that's how much has eroded just from rain? Yes. Just from rain being concentrated here. more just a different perspective of all the erosion yeah. right so the water comes downhill and then it comes down here look it's kind of down here okay those are holding right those are holding this so holding. This we can thank the trees for holding some of the soil yes, right that's what's holding this, it, this is what has prevented even more erosion because if you look because you can see this sharp used drop to be, off. people used to be able to walk on these stones look at this they're kind of they're going. You can see the sharp drop off from one yeah, side of the roof to the next. Mm -hmm. Here this is good. This is on, and you have a so sharp a drop off one. right here. Because we have a water this is a sh an area where we're short of water. Okay. Sometimes we don't have water in right. the main side. And water can be it expensive. Be if we could store it and use it. We look for the toilet. So there are times when we have to close the school because we don't have water. Okay, okay. So, Mr. Goldson, we collect some water. What do yes. we do with the excess? What happens to the Well, the, and that is the unfortunate thing. There will probably be more water uncollected than collected because of okay. the tropical downpour. One thought is to create a rain garden. So, we'll have an area where we leave this water and allow it to soak away without doing any damage okay. in the form of erosion okay. and also prevent it from creating damage for the housing scheme behind the school which would be the case if we just allowed it to run.